You're right on time for another engaging edition of sports this morning, reaching you from Channels Television Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria. Thanks for joining in. My name is Austin Okunakban. Let's skip to the rule. It's ladies first. The Nigerian boxing team to the just concluded African Women Boxing Championship are back in the country with medals. Nigeria topped the medals table with two gold and a bronze medal. Uh, Tunisia, Botswana, Algeria, Morocco, and host country Cameroon participates at, at the championship. With women's boxing still struggling for recognition in this country, the victory in Cameroon is an indication that there is light at the end of the tunnel for these ladies who are using boxing to propagate women power. Let's stay with the ladies, but leaving boxing now to football, we're coach of Nigeria's under-17 women's team, the Flamingos, has unveiled the players that will execute the country's quest for glory at the FIFA under-17 women's World Cup in Costa Rica. Bala and Keo's team will take on China in their opening game on Sunday with other group phase games against Colombia and Mexico to follow on March 19th and the 20th and 23rd respectively. Good luck to the Flamingos still with football but this time the senior men's national team. Super Eagles coach Steven Keshi is not changing his philosophy of taking players with good character to the World Cup. There's been several calls for the recall of Osaze Odenwinge and Ike Uche but Keshi insists that players without good team spirit will not make the Super Eagles team to the World Cup in international football. The UEFA Champions League, Barcelona and Paris Saint-Germain are through to the last eight of the championship. At the camp now goes from, you know who, Lionel Messi and Dani Alves dumped the English team out of the most prestigious club football tournament. The favourites indeed are marching on. So we'll leave you with highlights from that game um, between Barcelona and Manchester City and with that defeat, it means the only surviving English team in the UEFA Champions League is Chelsea. We'll come back, we'll talk. Don't go anywhere, stay. Xavi. Fabregas. And Messi will get there first. And Lionel Messi has in all probability taken this tie away from Manchester City. They do now need to score three in the last quarter of the game. Another big moment from Messi. Uh, he wasn't going to miss that. Fans sing his name and take the tie beyond Manchester City completely. That stat alone tells you so much. Fifth Champions League game of the season, his eighth mm. goal in the competition this season. And there's no grin in Pellegrini. Uh, it's Jordan Lescott, nightmare for him. Can't sort his feet out. It's a bad mistake from the centre-back. He's looking around, but he's only got to look at himself, really. See there, makes a real mess of it. Negredo. Now Dzeko, he's one on one here. And Jekko, that's a penalty. Oh, the referee. Here's uh, Negredo. Oh, and Manchester City are absolutely livid. Oh, it's a stonewall penalty. We're a long way away. Gerard Pique struggling, just tackles him from behind, trips him up. Sending him off now. Is it Fernandinho is sent off? Cavaletta. To be fair, he's been shocking all night, this referee. Company. The same company's got the red. Yeah, let's have a letter being waved away from the episode. And it's for the one game in their knockout stage. They beat Atletico Madrid away. Taken by Milner. And the company... Looks a mile offside. ...has got <laughs> maybe a result here in the new Camp, even though they're going out. Well, this would top the officials' night off. It looked an absolute mile offside from here, but we'd have to see it again. They're not giving it up, Barcelona. They all push out. Whether it was or not, maybe just on. It's tight. I think it's the substitute that's just come on in the middle there. Maybe it's a good decision from the linesman. Gets it right. From up here, he looks absolutely an acres of space company. If anyone did. I'm thinking they won't win it. They won't be good enough to win it. I'm thinking the same here tonight. Sergio Roberto. Iniesta, 
They can win the game though, Iniesta for Dani Alves, who scored very late in the first game and has done the same thing here to get Barcelona a second goal in the second leg. Oh, that is a Barcelona goal. Composure, Iniesta, the ball is just glued to his feet. Dani Alves, second goal of the tie. <laughs> Danny Alves, he needed some more noise at the new camp to show that Barcelona have qualified for the quarterfinals of the UEFA Champions League. Well, uh, the two, nothing was expected from Manchester uh, City in that game after losing uh, by two goals to nothing at the Etihad Stadium. It's sports this morning on Channels Television. Wherever you are in the world watching us, we say welcome again and we invite you to be part of the show. You know how to get to us. Our feedback mechanism has not changed on Twitter. Very active, we're channels underscore sports. On Facebook, we're channels hyphen sports. What are you talking about in your exciting world of sports? We want you to share with us. Uh, I'm particularly excited that women's boxing is on the rise in Nigeria. Uh, the team traveled to Cameroon for the African Women's Boxing Championship and topped the medals table, winning two gold and a bronze medal. Kudos to uh, the Nigerian Boxing Federation. We'll try to talk to uh, the national team coach, Tony Koyeguachi, this morning on the show and then find out uh, what they're doing to ensure that women's boxing in this country is admirable. Tell us, Salam, is with us this morning. Tell us, good to have you on the show. Yeah, morning, Austin. Um, mm. Thanks for having me. Um, talking about is um, Manchester City, um, Barcelona. It was always going to be a, an uphill task mm -hmm. uh, from for Man City, but they actually went there yesterday and they gave a gallant performance. Mm. And I'm sure you're remembering me because I always say when you have your chances, you it's take a, it. Yeah, they, they, yeah football mm. is about chances, really. Mm. And they failed to take theirs yesterday. Mm. Yeah. Okay, Tony Koyeguache is a national um, boxing coach. Uh, uh, he took those ladies to Cameroon. He's joining us live on the program. Good morning, coach. Hello, coach. Hello, yeah, good morning. Okay, coach, I'm still excited. Uh, I remember the last time I spoke to you, you said the attention uh, will be shifted to women's boxing. Um, what happened in Cameroon? Oh, yeah, it was a wonderful uh, outing. We thank God. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it went smoothly. It was an excellent one. We went with three boxers and we got three medals. Two gold medals and one bronze. And one bronze. Mm. So, Coach, what's next uh, after uh, this beautiful performance? Yeah, you, looking, we're looking forward to camping, the Commonwealth camping and the World Youth, World Youth game coming up in Sofia, Bulgaria, in three weeks' time. So we're moving into camp hopefully next week hmm. for the preparation of this. Hmm. Talk to so me like about Kane Day. You said? I want you to tell me more about Kane Day Obari. What's the quality she has as a boxer? Oh, Kane Day Obari, she's a wonderful boxer. She boxed, she had three fights over there. Her first opponent, she met Algeria. She defeated Algeria 3-0. Uh, then the second fight, she met Tunisia. She won the same thing by 3 0. Then on final day, she made uh, these people, uh, this country, Morocco, Morocco boxer, all North African countries. She mm. defeated everybody. She performed ex excellently. Mm. Yeah, so Kenya Job is someone we have to look up, look up to for, for gold in Commonwealth Games. Mm. Talk to me about the boxers you took to the uh, World Amateur Boxing Championship. What are we doing with those boxers? And what are okay. the plans for the Commonwealth Games? Okay, you mean for the World Youth? Yeah, for Games? the World Youth Championship. Okay. Yeah, we'll be going with eight boxers for World Youth. We'll be going with, uh, sorry, with 11 boxers for the World Youth Games. Eight men and three females. Hmm. So, yeah, uh, preparing, already preparing. But, you know, the constraint is money. Hmm. Money, that's the one bringing problem now, logistics and the rest of it. No support, we don't have sponsors. It's only the president, General Minima, is the one that even brought that money for this Cameroon trip. There's no sponsors, nothing. Hmm. We came back still, everything was shabby. We, we never camp. We are just in open camp for just one week. Hmm. But we can't go away when we succeeded there. Hmm. So that's what we can go. But I'm still interested. Um, remember, I was with a team before we left for the... I'm talking about the amateur uh, boxing championship. Uh, where we went, we got no medals. I remember how the team struggled before leaving the country. Coach, I want to know what we're doing with those boxers. 
And how are we getting ready to ensure that some of these shameful happenings uh, does not take place in Nigerian boxing again? Yeah, you know, you know, we are just bringing them in. When we get close camp, we'll be able to, to, able to put things into them. Like, a free couple just came in from Mexico. Mm -hmm. Came from Mexico two days ago. Believing the camp will have, must have started, but nothing. We have two boxers coming from England, too. Preparing all these people are towards the, gearing up towards the Commonwealth Games. So, but, you know, there's nothing we can do when there's no money. And mm -hmm. those people that sponsor, the major sponsor is the National Sports Commission. When they call General County now, we are moving and we start up from there. Mm. Coach, I want to look beyond the problems. Um, tell me sincerely, do we have the talents for good boxing in this country? No, we have great talent. A lot of talent here in Nigeria. Boxing that can deliver. They just, this sponsor saying that's what we need. Put in what out of what they give to football, into boxing. We will bring 10 gold medals from Commonwealth Games. Hmm. They give bonus, they give all this thing, they give awards. Put all this thing into a little of it into boxing and see what, what we will bring in, you know, from Commonwealth Games. But there's nothing. Even right now, we are just looking up to God just to, to help us huh? for the country and the rest of it and for the training. Okay. Okay, Coach. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sorry, you know, the, some, it's not so clear. I'm not hearing you clearly. Okay, it's okay. Right. It's okay. I can hear you. Thank yeah, you so thank much you. for speaking to us on the program. And I stay focused with the team. Whatever you cannot change, pray about it. Thank you so much. Uh, no, no problem. But I tell you, the Commonwealth will be good. We will do good there in Commonwealth Day. Okay. We'll keep that assurance. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Coach Tony Koyenguache is a um, national boxing coach.